Okay, but today we're reading this story called The Dark by Robert Munch. No story by Michael Martinko. The Dark by Robert Munch. No story by Michael Marchenko. When Jules and came down the stairs for breakfast, there, there was a cook, big cookie jar on the kitchen table. She turned it upside down, but nothing came out. So she hit the bottom of the jar, whap, 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 and nothing, and still nothing came out. Finally, she held the jar over her head and looked in it. A small, dark lump fell out, bounced out her nose, and rolled across the table. And said, What's that? Her mother said, What's that? The small dark ate Jules and the shadow and got bigger. The small dark ate her mother's shadow and got a little bigger. The small the small dark ate the toaster shadow and got even bigger. I think it's a dark, said Julian. By this time the dark has a was a as big as a, the toaster, Julian's father came in and said, hey, what's that? Jordan said, it's a dark. It eats shadows. Jordan's father picked up the dark and threw it out the window. The dark landed and bounced boing, boing down the street. The dark saw a lot of car shadows and ate them up. The, the dark saw lots of tel, telephone pole shadows and ate them up. The dark saw lots of houses and ate them up. The dark even saw some butterfly shadows and ate them up. The dark was now as big as a hill. It came to Julia and house, sat on the roof, and went to sleep. The whole yard was so dark that Julia could not go out and play. Julia's mother said, what's this? They ran out to chase the dark, away the dark. But it, but it was so dark outside that they got lost. They could not even find the door to come back in. Jordan was very upset then she saw the dark and had not eaten her chair shadow. So she broke off a piece and held it up the window. She yelled, Foo, the dark came right inside the house and jumped on the shadow. Then Jordan and broke up the rest of the pieces, the shadow, into little pieces and put them into the cookie jar. Right away, the dark flew through the window and jumped into the jar to eat the shadow. As soon as the dark was inside, Junan put on top of the jar, she taped it, it with tape. She glued it with glue. She pl plastered it with plaster and she roped it with rope. Then all her friends helped her carry it to a garbage can and they dumped it inside. Her mother and father called the garbage truck. The truck came and took the dark away. It never came back. All the shadows took a week to grow again. The